because I didn't know we came, she came there. We came for the same thing, in short. We came there, so when I was there, I met her there. And it's not even a story to write some about because both of us made sin. We created sin there. And honestly, as it stands now, I feel so ashamed of what I did there. And I want to use this opportunity to apologize to Ella. Please, help me to share this. Tell her to please come wherever she is. I want to make peace. I want to reconcile with her. I want to apologize for fighting her today. So everything, every rubbish thing we did at um, the estate, I want to apologize to the owner of the estate, that is OPM, General Overseer Pastor Git Chibuzo, General Overseer OPM. I want to apologize to you, sir, for the sin you created at your estate. I am a real name and we don't know what we are doing. Please forgive us. Ella, forgive me as well for throwing away your food. And I've also forgiven you for scattering my, my things, the things I bought for Agoba, for destroying my fruits, my food. Ella, I want to apologize to you. Please forgive me. I am so sorry. Wherever you are in Portacourt, please try to uh, locate me. Anywhere you are, I need you to locate me. Please forgive me. I want to use this medium to say I am sorry for creating sin at OPM um, Free Estate, where I went to see my where I went to see my baby Agoba. Please forgive me, Ella. Forgive me, Pastor Chibozo. Please forgive me. And I want to really appreciate you, sir, for putting a smile on my face. I didn't know that you have been seeing everything that has been going on. I didn't know. Even when we were screaming on top of our voices to call your attention, I didn't even know that maybe you are there watching us. I want to thank you and I want to apologize to you for creating a sin at your estate. Such a very kind man, you're such a very nice man. God is using you to change lives. Thank you so much. And forgive me for what I did at your estate. Forgive me. Ella, please, wherever you are, try to locate me. I am so sorry for fighting you. I am so sorry for destroying your things. And I have forgiven you from the depths of my heart. For destroying my own things, for fighting me too. I wish for us to reconcile. I wish because I think God wants us to be um, good together. God wants us to be friends. And that is why everything is just happening the way it is happening. Please, anywhere you are, Ella, try to locate me. I am in Portacourt. Come to my DM or reply my DM, please. I am so sorry. Guys, please join me and thank Pastor Chibuzo Chinere Gift for remembering me and her. I don't even know where to start now. As you can see, <laughs> my voice is so bad, honestly. As you can see, my voice is very, very bad. I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. I want to say thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. And please forgive me for causing a great sin at your estate, a peaceful estate. The estate is so quiet and calm. In fact, I and Ella, we made a scene there. And a lot of some people came out and they were like, what is going on in our estate? What is going on? We screamed on top of our voices. We fought each other. We spoiled each other's item. But now I feel so remorse at what I did. And I am deeply sorry. Sir, so please forgive me. Forgive me. And such thing will never repeat itself again. You are such a kind and generous man. 
listen guys i know you people may be saying eh, that i am feeling remorse now because he has made an offer yes that man is a peaceful man you see the, the general of Asia wants to bring peace to my life that is why the whole thing happened the way it's happening because ever since i did i caused that sin ever since i fought that uh, battle ever since i made that fight with ella i've not been at rest but i have to take a bold step i want to use opportunity to apologize to ella for fighting her in front of opm free estate and i have forgiven her for fighting me dear all because of agoba because we are looking for our husband because we want to marry the same man even if we end up becoming co-wives i don't mind as it stands now i want peace i have i want to make peace um pastor chebozo gift senior has brought peace to my life now he has brought rest and i'm even ready or willing to even share agoba with her she can even be my co-wife. I will not have shimbai issues with her. I will not have issues again. I want to give, I want to surrender Ella. If we, even if we end up marrying Agoba, I accept to be your co-wife. We will live in peace and harmony. Both of us will take care of Agoba together. Please, wherever you are, Ella, I beg you. Try to reach out with me. Please, Ella, forgive me. Pastor, give Chinere Chibozo, General Overseer of OPM. Forgive me, sir, for the sin I created. Please, sir, forgive me. I feel so remorse and I feel so ashamed for what I did at your estate. Your estate was a very peaceful one. I caused sin there. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I am deeply sorry from the bottom of my heart. And I wish to also apologize to my family if they, because definitely they won't be happy with me. I want to also use this opportunity to, to apologize to my family if I have dent their name or because I'm looking for the man after my heart. Please forgive me. Please. I am deeply sorry. Please forgive me. I am so happy at the offer that OPM has made to me and Ella. <clears throat> I am really, really happy. I am filled with joy. I don't even know where to start. I have already lost my voice. It is too much for me. It is too much for this heart to contain. But I know I am so grateful. God, you are so great. Thank you for using this man. Thank you for using General Vasia OPM to settle me and Ella. Because I know by the grace of God, we are going to be, we both of us are going to reconcile and become friends. This battle has been there. We have been fighting battles. Though I do not want to talk about it. I do not want to bring it on social media because somehow I am not a violent person. So I was taking the whole battle out of social media. But the battle I've been fighting with her. I've been fighting the, I've been fighting battles behind the camera with her. Behind lives, behind social media. Because she is fighting the same thing I'm fighting for. She wants to take my position from me. And of course, no woman will sit down and fold her arms, watch another person take what she wants, or what belongs to her. I am sorry, Ella. Please, anywhere Ada Ella is, help me to contact her. Please share this life so that she can see it. I am so sorry for fighting you, for scattering your things, for destroying the things you bought for Agoba. 
and I have forgiven you for destroying my things, what I bought for Agoba. I am sorry for fighting you at OPM's free estate. I am sorry. Please, Ella, forgive me and try to reach out to me or you reply your inbox because I have sent you messages. But it seems you've not checked it. Please try to check your messages. You will see my you will see what I've sent to you. I want to make peace with you. I am in Portacot. I think I am in uh, Rukwoko or there but I don't, I'm not sure. But I think I am in Rukwoko. Please find any way. Find all means, any way you can to reach out to me. Please let us make peace. I think at this juncture, both of us need peace. We have to forgive each other. And even if we will be pushed through by the grace of God, we marry Agoba. I don't even mind being your co-wife. If you if I am the first wife, I will accept you to be the second wife. If you are the first wife, I, I will be I will accept to be your second wife. We are going to live in peace and harmony. Please, my dear, beloved Ella, forgive me. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, forgive me. Pastor Chibuzo, you are a kind man. You are a very kind man. You are a very generous man. You are a true father. Because... Any other person could have just, any other person could have overlooked the whole thing. But even though you are not even in the country, you were still there and you are seeing everything. And you decided to give me and my friend Ella, by the grace of God, peace. Decided to locate us. Papa, Daddy, OPM, thank you. Thank you. You have actually located a poor girl like me. I am so grateful. I am so honored. May God continue to bless you, to give you more, so that keep your days long, because the world needs you. The world needs somebody like you. Thank you so much for giving me peace, for restoring peace between me and Ella by the grace of God. Thank you, Papa. I really appreciate you, Daddy. Thank you, Pastor. Gifts, Chinere. General Overseer, OPA. Thank you, Pastor. Gifts, Chinere. General Overseer, OPA. You are a great man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because this shows that, this you did shows that you are a man of peace. You don't want war. Thank you. Forget these tears. This is a tears of joy. I am so I am very, very emotional. That is why even this um this battle I've been fighting because of Agoba. I said I'm going I must fight it to the end. I made it as a decision within myself until Agoba comes to me to tell me. Anastasia, I will not marry you. That is when I will give up. That is when I will know. Yes, he's not. He doesn't want me. But as far as I'm concerned, when I've made my mind on something, I fight it to the end. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you, Daddy. Thank you. <sighs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Daddy OPM. I am so grateful. I am so, so grateful. You are a blessing to this nation. You are a blessing to our country, Nigeria. You are a great philanthropist. Listen, when I knew, when I knew that the whole thing is going to favor me, I have feelings. 
Because when I came the first day, if I before I even prepare to come to Portacourt, the spirits have already told me, my daughter, go. That that place you are going will favor you. Portacourt really favored me. And I will never forget that in a hurry. Apart from um, the offer, and apart from every other thing, I still want to appreciate um, everyone in Portacourt. I want to appreciate Portacourt as a whole. I want to appreciate this great state that you really favored me. The state, the environment was so friendly with me. Not like some places I've been to. Maybe they may be seeing you as a stranger. They won't even want to talk to you. They will be seeing you maybe as a foreigner or whatsoever. But when I came to Porta Court, everybody, from the people I met in the park, down to where I am lodged in this hotel, all of them are nice. Nobody has been rude to me. Nobody has been rude to me. In fact, thank you, Porta Court. Please, if you are here in Portacourt, I want to appreciate you. If you are from Portacourt, you don't know what God has done for you. I came all the way from Enugu since day before yesterday. Sorry, I be three days ago, yes. That should be day before yesterday. Since I came back, I came from Enugu to Portacourt. I've been so relaxed. Apart from the issues I have with, I have with um, Ella, the girl I've been you know, having crashes with on social media. This place has been so friendly. No single mosquito bites. Power supply is constant. Even, even I can even count how many times they took lights here. But most of the time they don't take lights. Like I was even so marveled. Are you serious? So the governments are doing a wonderful job in these states. And I even had a live, um, I, have, I had a, an interview with um, Today um, FM, Today Station, Today 95.1 FM radio station. I had a live interview with them. And I want to appreciate them. Because they were so friendly. So, with that court, you really favored me. And I want to also acknowledge that fact. Thank you so much, Pota court. I love you. Then, concerning my baby Agoba, I'll be making a live tomorrow. And I know you people will want to hear what I have to say about um Agupa, my baby so by tomorrow your people will hear it but for now this video is centered on um general Garcia opm pastor chibozo gift chinere i want to appreciate him and also to apologize to when i say my co-wife who hid him Ella Ada, I apologize to you for everything. Please, I wish you would find it in your heart to forgive me. Let us make peace and let us work together if it's going to be possible. They say two heads are better, are better than one. I hope if we rub heads together, we are going to achieve great by the grace of god and i wish you i wish you forgive me and understand and let go everything i wish thank you so much my fans that has been so encouraging that have stood strongly behind me you guys have been so solid with your encouragement and everything. I want to appreciate you people too. Thank you for those that believe me, that believe the love I have for Agoba is genuine. That it really encouraged me. 
Some people DM'd me to encourage me, and that is what I needed at this point in time. And God used you, some of you, to do that to me. I will never forget that in a hurry. I really, really, really appreciate you, people. And even those that trolls me, even those that insulted me, I want to tell you people that your insults, I really felt your insults, but it didn't really break me. Because I know, I know, it's not like I'm a hopeless person. I move with hope. I believe. I believed. And that is why I persevered. I did to relent. Even your truths could not make me relent to give up. So, but I still want to appreciate the people that your truths really encouraged me to move further. Because when people were insulting me, calling me all sorts of names, saying all sorts of things, fine girl, why do you want to settle with an old man? Honestly, I said that I must prove you people wrong. I must prove you people that when somebody really loves, that person can't do anything. So, thank you people. Thank you people for trolling me because that troll was an encouragement to me. If you must know, it made me to keep fighting. Now, if I had listened to the choice, if I had given up, if I had maybe considered what people feel about me, I don't think I would have come this far. I don't think I would have even paid for my transport to Portacos. I don't think I would have done that. But I said no, because I know I, I was working with somebody and that person is God Almighty. And he has brought me this far. And I want to also use this opportunity to thank my God. See, if you know God, if you know Jesus Christ, just hold him so tight and strong. God knows they feel. Believe me. You see, God Almighty, he doesn't feel. Jesus doesn't feel. And I want to use this medium to encourage you people. See, God doesn't disappoint. God doesn't. He has never, he has never disappointed me. God has never disappointed me. Sorry about my voice. God has never disappointed me. God has never disappointed me. And I want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 